Hi there. When I was a child, I hated having my hair cut. But for the last few months of lockdown, it seems to be about the only thing I've really, really wanted. Something I've wanted more than ever before. I made a joke about it when I finally got my hair cut this week at the barber's. And then I added, I wonder why I don't feel the same way about going to the dentist's. It's a good question, isn't it? Why do we prefer the barber to the dentist? I guess cost is one reason. Uh, a trim at my barber cost me just £12 and that's it. Whereas a dental checkup, well that starts at £22.70. But rather like when you take your car to have an MOT, it's rare that the £22.70 is the final bill. Another reason we prefer the barber to the dentist is the potential for discomfort. A uh, barber's hair clipper is just as noisy as a dentist's drill, but I know which is more irritating. And if you find yourself needing a local anaesthetic because of something your hairdresser is doing, it really is time to find a new barber. But I guess for most of us, the real reason we prefer the barber to the dentist is that the hairdresser is all about pampering, whereas the dentist is about health. And let's face it, we're all happier focusing on making ourselves look good than on fixing what's going on inside of us. That desire to look good on the outside rather than worrying about our physical, emotional and spiritual health isn't a, a new thing. Jesus would often butt heads with a bunch of folks in his day called the Pharisees. They very much looked the part, experts in first century virtue signalling. They'd give generously to the needy, announcing it with trumpets. They'd stand on street corners praying long wordy prayers. They loved to be seen to be doing good. As far as Jesus was concerned, it was all a big show. It was fake. He called them whitewashed tombs. Beautiful on the outside, but full of dead bones. And when we're worrying about our appearance, or about how to cover up that Covid stone we've all put on, or for that matter, worrying about how to do and appear to be doing church right, maybe we're rather more like those whitewashed tombs than we'd like to think. There's a time in the Bible when God sent a prophet called Samuel to the town of Bethlehem to appoint a new king. And as a parade of the most kingly men are brought before him, God tells Samuel, don't consider their appearance or height. I don't look at the things people look at. People look at outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. You see, God's not taken in by how we look or dress. The message of Easter is that he sees straight through the image we show to the world, all the way to our hearts, saying, you don't need to pretend with me. I know you because I made you. I know who you truly are. And I love you so much that I came into the world to die and rise for you so that you can have the life I made you for. So let's not give too much time to worrying about outward appearances. Let's take on board that message of love that speaks straight to our heart and let God work on the inside. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to know more, do get in touch because we're hoping to start a short alpha course soon, a chance to explore all of life's big questions. And you can find out all about our weekly services by visiting our What's On page, hopechurchfamily.org forward slash calendar. Bye bye.